Peter Delapena here with USA Captain Monak Patel after an eight-wicket loss to UAE in the sixth ODI here in Cricket World Cup League Two in Texas. Story of the series, Monak seems to be opposition players scoring centuries, USA players getting starts, unable to convert them into centuries. What do you think is the number one reason why that is happening? I think uh, you're absolutely on point. Um, it's important if you get a start on this wicket, uh, uh, need to finish it up. Uh, and play at least till the 40 overs. Uh, our top four uh, batsmen couldn't uh, utilize those stats, and uh, you can see the difference. That's why we couldn't score more than 200 runs in a couple of innings. Two very unlucky dismissals, you could argue, to start off play without any runs on the board. But then the partnership that you had with Aaron Jones seems like the wicket was perfectly fine. And I believe if you had won the toss, you would have chosen to bat first. What was your assessment of the wicket, especially in the context of what USA wound up with? I think uh, first 10 overs, the, uh, it had a little bit of moisture on the wicket, so the couple of balls were stopping, but it wasn't that hard to bet. Uh, we actually, me and Aaron, batted really well till the 20th over, and we had like 80 plus runs of part, uh, partnership. And uh, if you see the record in the last four games, uh, we've been losing wicket on the 20th over, and particularly it's me who's getting out on the 20th over. So really disappointed with m myself too. Uh, I got like three starts in the three games and uh, couldn't capitalize. And it's important as a batting unit, uh, the senior players uh, steps up and uh, score big runs. Um, and I'm pretty, pretty confident that the way uh, our senior players are batting in the upcoming games will definitely c come up with a big score. Aside from the batting issues, what else would you say is something that USA needs to improve on in order to help turn around the results in the upcoming games against Oman and Nepal? I think we've been batting really good. Uh, it's just the uh, middle overs between 20 to 40th over. We need to make sure that uh, we we get the wickets in hand and we don't lose enough wickets and we still score more than five runs or four runs per over. If we can do that, we can easily capitalize the last 10 overs, which we, we weren't able to capitalize in these three games. In terms of Aaron Jones, at the start of the week, he played in innings, spent a lot of time at the crease, almost 70 balls without scoring a boundary had a much different approach day in a situation that was also much different where USA needed him to up the scoring in the context of the bad start. You had a perfect view out there batting with him. What did you notice about his approach day that you liked compared to some of the conservative approach he had earlier in the week? I think it's, uh, it was just a mindset. Uh, he, uh, he was pretty confident and we had a talk before uh, two games, so uh, after the second game. and. Uh, he, he told like you know and he's a batsman uh, who plays a couple of balls initially and then once he gets set he starts playing his shot and uh, you could see in this uh, innings. In terms of the bowling attack compared to how Scotland and UAE have operated what have you liked from your bowlers and what do you think are areas to improve upon again heading into the next four games? I think uh, particularly the uh, pace bowlers, uh, they were very disciplined. Uh, they, their line and length was really uh, on point. Like it was like 90% of the balls they they, they executed on on the spot. And uh, spinner, they, they also bowled really well. But uh, today, I think it was a bad day for for the spinners. They they were like off the line. They were bowling to uh, both sides of the wicket. But overall, uh, I like the, uh, the, sp the speed variation from the spinners. And I think it was just a bad day for the bowlers and, uh, and batsmen overall. I, I think we'll, we'll come back strong in the next four games. Just two more questions. Rahul Jarawala made his debut today, got a good start, wasn't able to convert it obviously, but what were the signs that you saw of him that give you confidence going forward in his game? I think the way he, bore, he, he played the uh, first 10 balls, uh, it, I, I couldn't. Say, I, I cannot say that he it was his debut game. Um, he was really confident, and it's good signs for for our team. And uh, there are a couple of like two debutants uh, in this series, and uh, I feel like uh, they are really confident to play the upcoming games. And you might also see uh, one more debutant in, uh, as um, in the next series. And that is my next question, Yasser Muhammad. We've seen Aaron Jones' part-time legs been used. Hasn't really been effective. Didn't take any wickets in the four games that he bowled. Yasser Muhammad picked as a leg spinner for this combined tour and the wickets are expected to deteriorate the more they're used over the course of the next week. What role do you expect him to play in the course of the next four ODIs? I think uh, if you get a chance to play in the upcoming uh, games, uh, he's a kind of a bowler who's uh, an attack attacking bowler and uh, I feel like the way he's been bowling uh, in the T20 series uh, against Ireland, I feel like his role would be more taking wickets and uh, definitely we will give him a, a chance in the upcoming games. Anything else you want to say about today's performance or the series as a whole? 
I think um, it was just a bad day for us overall as a team. Uh, but we lot lots of positive in this series. Uh, Sushant, uh, particularly in, in the batting department, uh, chipped in in a couple of games. And even Aaron Jones now, he, he got a big score. So overall as a batting unit, I feel like we are in a good space and uh, we'll definitely see a target uh, to score like at least 250 plus consistently. If we are able to do it, I think we back our bowlers uh, with 250 uh, runs. USA Captain Manapitel, thank you again. Thanks.